In this series, we're going to be talking about repositories with Laravel. Now, as you can see here, I've got a very basic blog. I've got two blog posts, and when we click on the title, we get the full view, and we can also return home. Now, let's take a, a very quick look at the code here. If we go in the roots file, we have our root for the list, which is just the home page. And then we have view ID, which is the root for the article view. So in the controller, we have get list, which uh, just displays all the articles on the homepage, which is what you see here. We're just getting all articles from the article model, and we're returning a view and passing those articles in. Now the get view is when we open up an article and read the full body. So we're, we're taking in an ID, we're finding it or failing it with the article model, and then we're returning a view again. Now that's all well and good, but what if I wanted to change the functionality of this so we were retrieving articles from a file instead of a, a database? Well, I have a file model here. Uh, note that it doesn't extend Eloquent because it has nothing to do with the database. And instead of reading from a file, I've just written a very, very simple class here. We're storing articles in a protected property, and then we can get all and then we can get a single article not the best code but it will work for this demonstration so typically what we'd have to do is go here we'd have to we'd have to change the name of that uh, model we'd have to do the same here and change the method hit refresh and we get the we get what we want but it's not very practical if we had a larger application with much more code then we'd have to go through all of that, changing all the models and the methods and that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to revert those changes. And we're going to look at how we can fix that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create somewhere to store our repositories. So typically to do this, we create a directory inside the app folder. I'm going to call it Acme. And then here I'm going to create another folder called repository. Now inside of here, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this article repository interface. And in fact, because we're using namespaces, we probably don't need that repository in there. So I'm going to set the namespace to Acme repository. I'm going to say interface, article interface. And this is going to contain two methods, get and public function uh, actually, we'll call this all and we'll call this one get. Don't worry too much if this doesn't make sense to you yet. We're going to be going over it in just a few moments. So the next thing that we need to do is auto load our Acme folder or the classes inside our Acme folder. So to do this, we go to our composer.json and in the auto load, I'm just going to create a new object called PSR0. And in here, I'm going to have Acme and I'm going to set that to app. So the next thing that we need to do is run composer update and that'll take a few seconds. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close all of this and we're going to create a new folder inside of our repository directory. And we're going to call this eloquent. Inside here, we're going to create a file called article.php. And we're going to uh, use the namespace acme repository eloquent. We're going to have class article extends uh, article interface and we're going to have to use that up here so acme uh, repository article interface and we're going to have to implement these methods so let's think about this how are we going to return all articles from the database now we could just return article all like so but I prefer to inject my models using the IOC container so I'm going to add a constructor I'm going to expect an article like so and I'm going to store that up here so this article equals article and in our all method I'm just going to return this article all and in get, I'm just going to return this article where id equals id get. 
Okay, so let's go to our controller. We're going to create a constructor. We're going to inject uh, an ad call interface. So we need to copy this namespace and we need to use it. So use Acme repository ad call interface. And now we can type in this and say ad call repo. Store it in a property. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is bind the class to the interface in the IOC container. Now, the best way to do this would probably be to use a provider, but to save time, we're going to uh, declare this in our roots file. So we're going to say app bind. Uh, we need to provide the full namespace. So Acme repository, article interface. And we're going to bind this to our eloquent class. Like so. Okay, so I must, yep, this should be implements. Try one more time. And there we go. So now what we can do, instead of calling article all, we can call this article repo uh, all. Hit refresh and we get the same result. So now we just have to change this one. So this article repo get ID. And we're getting another error. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, this should be first. Hit refresh, and there we have it. Our our CMS or our blog works exactly the same. Now here is the fun part. Let's say I want to use my file model, this, instead of our ad call model. So all we have to do is create that repository. So file.php, we'll uh, we have to copy this namespace. Class file implements article interface. We'll just copy all of this for now. Uh, we want to change this to file. File all. Now very quickly, I'm just going to change, I'm just going to remove all of this static. That was just for demonstration purposes. So get rid of this. Okay. And then we'll just copy the contents of this article class and we'll change some of this stuff. And we also need to change this method down here to get ID. Okay, so now all we have to do is change this one one word here to file. Hit refresh and we get our file storage. And if we use a repository inside all of our controllers, you can imagine how easy that's going to be to switch your storage system.